Hi, this is Robin Adrian from the Coco Daisy Memory Keeping Kits design team. And I'm here today to show you how I put my printed journaling in my Traveler's Notebook or my Daisy Dory. I use this paper from Staples. This paper is premium bright white inkjet and laser paper, 28 pounds from Staples. And it's really great paper. It works really well in both the inkjet and the laser printer. The 28 pounds is really nice because it's not too thin, but it's not too thick. The thinness of this paper allows me to add other things to my notebooks or my simple dories um, in thickness. I don't have to worry about putting in this really thick paper. Also, I print pictures on here quite a bit as well. They're not the same quality as photo paper, but in a lot of cases, what I'm doing is a landscape photo or something else. And so this paper works great for that. And as far as I can tell, it lasts just as long as printed text. Okay, so I make my journaling for my Traveler's Notebook and my Daisy Dories in Microsoft Word using a text box. That's what you're seeing here. I put these light gray lines, so I frame my text box, and these lines are here for cutting. The size of my journaling block for this notebook is 8.25 inches tall and 4.35 inches wide. It's 4.35 inches wide for Coco Daisy Simple Dories is the perfect width and I'll show you why in a minute. So here's my inspiration notebook that I'm creating from the paper and ink December kit. And this is journaling block number three and what I did was I printed this out as I showed you here I cut it out and now I'm going to use some of this tape from scrapbook.com it's dot tape and it allows me if I position it awkwardly because I like to do that sometimes um, it allows me to reposition so the one tip that I would give you here as far as the amount of adhesive that you put on the back of your journal block goes is it's really where you put it and what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's going to stick down close to the at the inner point here when you put the glue on but how I'm going to adhere this is something that I've learned over time is to line this up so I pulled my page up and I'm lining it up my journaling block from the bottom as well as the edge of the page and the reason why I do this is because I want a little space in the crease on the other side so that when I turn this page it does not interfere so the journaling goes on here and I don't create any kind of interference and if you can see right here that there is just a tad bit of space in here and um, I actually learned this tip from Lisa Varshine, and you can find her on Instagram. She has a lot of really great stuff too. Um, anyway, so this is, I'm not going to show you this whole thing because I'm working on this actually for something else, but I did want to go back here because I had some questions. So this is the first, hi, I apologize for the interruption. My phone actually ran out of storage. Oh my. So I wanted to show you the first page in my inspiration notebook and the reason why is because it's a fold out and I had a couple of people ask me questions about that and so basically what I did was I printed on that same 28 pound paper, I printed double sided so that my journaling would be on the inside and I would have this introduction on the outside. All I needed to do was figure out which way I wanted my paper to fold uh, to, put, to decide which side of the paper the introduction went on on the opposite side. And then I just took the other side of this that has no printing on it and I heard it right to my Daisy Dory page. And that's that. So I hope that you have a healthy and happy 2019. I wish you a happy new year. And I will see you on all the social media sites for Coco Daisy or on my Instagram site. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you ASAP. Thank you.